The heat is back for at least a few days. Skipper. Yes, it is for the, uh, the the next seven days. I think the hottest is going to be on Saturday, mid to upper 90s for some. And the rain chance is really going to be backing off here next several days. So overnight, early this morning, over two inches north of Carlsruhe. Wells County with a lot of rain. Sheridan County as well. North of Sawyer, over two inches, inch 61. North of Galva in far western North Dakota. And in Kruger Lake, Sheridan County, 135. So again, we had some heavy storms or severe weather. In fact, moved through Montana and western and central North Dakota during the overnight time frame. Some other rain reports, including Harvey at 70 hundredths, and you go all the way down the list. Dickinson did pick up about a third, and then Williston only eight hundredths. And it's these this particular area that's just not getting much rain at all. Hasn't for really the majority of the summertime here. Uh, Bismarck at three hundredths and Henninger at two hundredths of an inch. In fact, a plentiful showers here, central eastern North Dakota and South Dakota. Here's the latest drought monitor. Again, we're drought free for most of us until you get toward Montana, which has been in drought all summer and into western North Dakota. Abnormally dry here in the yellow shade, but we do see that drought expanding now. Moderate classification over northwest North Dakota, up and down the Montana North Dakota border here, but we've got severe drought classification in northeast Montana, where again, many of these areas being uh, left out of the rain the past couple of months here. Also in southeast Montana, west central, southwest North Dakota. Then you get into northern South Dakota here, where severe drought once again is uh, taking place. Just a feast or famine the way it's been here. As far as the moisture just for this month here, again, Williston really sticking out there with about uh, two thirds of an inch below normal. Only 39 hundredths of an inch recorded so far this month. Temperatures not as hot as yesterday in Williston where we were in the 90s. Now we're 85 degrees, but uh, we might hit the century mark again by Saturday in Williston, of course, with the air being so dry and the ground as well. 86 in Bismarck, Mobridge at 89 degrees. 70s far eastern North Dakota. And again, given that high pressure in our atmosphere, a stable atmosphere to be expected here for tonight, meaning no showers and storms and winds around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Guess what's moving back north here after a cool, refreshing morning for Friday. Chance for a few scattered showers really won't amount to a whole lot, but a warm front. And this is just day one of three on the way tomorrow, Saturday. Saturday and Sunday with hot and muggy conditions here an isolated storm threat a possibility not looking at a big severe weather outbreak by any stretch but level one here out of five for the eastern plains of Montana for tomorrow afternoon and evening. So highs for tomorrow, upper 80s for Minot, low 90s again back toward eastern Montana, Glasgow at 95 degrees and even hotter here for Saturday. Look for a high around 87 degrees for Bismarck, Mandan and in Fargo. So widespread mid to upper 80s on the way. Otherwise, yeah, not much improvement here for Saturday and Sunday with temperatures near 90 degrees next week. That is when things look better, more back to school flare, 70s and 80s, and less humidity as well. Yeah, I think the humidity is kind of hard on some <laughs> That people. makes a big difference. It really it's does. Tough. Thanks. Yeah.